I know. Some of these days you just want to go, duh. Okay, so White House st staffers just discovered this morning that blackberries can be used to read email? Really? Oh, what? They're not used to smart devices? Or, wait a minute, they forgot that before, when, right after the president was elected and he didn't want to get rid of his blackberry? Hmm, there are reasons why. Well, you know, duh! Okay, for now, we're going to bring all the camera on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah, God, it was, uh, the, the Republicans are being condemned by the, the Obama supporters on their witch hunts against the White House. And then the, the latest one, I mean, well, I can understand. I, you know, one of his congressman supporters in, the, in meetings, I didn't, I didn't know until I saw it yesterday, like the president's staff did, that you can use a smart device to read emails on. Like, duh. And then this morning, one of the, one of his colleagues, who basically he is going, going to lose his seat in the House, said, uh, he said, uh, you know, the, the dog ate my cell phone. It's not going to work either. <laughs> and Obama is trying to show how tough he is. Oh yeah, I mean, what happens is when a Demo when a weak Democratic president, such as Woodrow Wilson, gets in trouble. Our, 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 our Franklin Roosevelt gets in trouble, our Jimmy Carter gets in trouble, our, our Johnson gets in trouble. You just name the Democrats in history, you end up in a god-awful big war because they get involved in a military action without giving any thought to the fact, well, all we got to do is just do like we did before, just leave. Well, it doesn't work that way. Once the, he, he's got to, and then he, one of the people said this morning, well, you got to understand when the president gets our troops captured in Iraq, we have 238 people in Guantanamo we can trade for him, mm -hmm. which means he gets everything he wants out of this military action. Mm -hmm. And prosecutor, Seattle campus shooter went off meds. Uh, that's the one thing that virtually all of these shooters that the Obama administration, Harry Reid, uh, seems to can't get to their head. These people were, would not have been denied gun use under the Democratic Party's bills because the ACLU forbids you to take to, to correct medical problems. So, and, and this, like they pointed out this morning, Reed's going to bring up the new gun control measure because we have to stop the flood of killing this country. Well, one, they're all Democrats, and two, every single one of them had a mental problem. And a report, Polish minister says U.S. ties worthless. Uh, that's basically the opinion of everybody in the whole known universe. I'm assuming somewhere in outer space, there's someone the president hasn't thrown under the wheels of his bus, but Give him the opportunity. Yeah. On social issues, America edges steadily left. No, they don't. Uh, okay, we're going to put it this way. Afro-Americans are in the middle. Uh, Latinos are in the middle. Uh, the largest constituents of voters in the country, the Asians, they're in the middle. Should be voting Republican, and they're not, because they are not moving to the left. Their children are not moving to the left. They're not moving to the left, but you know who, who okay, here's the way it works. Um, that a long time ago, Mark Twain said, Mark Twain didn't live well in the 20th century. He said simply that you have to remember, polls are taken with people that already have predetermined what the results are going to be. So, yeah, because they're usually taking polls trying to get a certain result. They take, it, they take the polls and, okay, you'll go to a college campus to, to the, uh, and take a poll, you know, like, the, uh, here's one this morning you got to like. 57% of the millennials, which the president wants uh, to basically make all their decisions, all their decisions made upon social media, which means they're, they're airheads. <laughs> <laughs> and Nintendo might have won E3, but needed more for 2014. You notice that that seems a predominant thing in the mainstream media besides the entertainment news today? That What's that? Nintendo basically shot itself in the foot. They came with uh, one trick, and the one trick was great. But the day E3 ended, all of a sudden, where's your where's your next one? Yep. And Sony and Microsoft court hardcore gamers at E3. Yeah. Well, yeah. Sony was really trying. They had so many announcements. Oh, I mean, they they said Sony overwhelmed everyone with everything, but its biggest thing was we're doing over the top. Um, I know, over the top. 
talented. Somebody at Sony just shot themselves. I mean, what is it with Sony making all these mistakes? I mean, we got a god awful great alpha camera that nobody knows about but us. And they don't yeah, tell I'm people. really surprised about that. The one. great thing that Sony does, no one knows about. That's the sad part. Yeah. Atlantic City courting gay tourism market. There is no gay. Okay, uh, uh, there's another one, which I, I remember years ago when it said, you know, turn out the lights when the last last English speaking in the person uh, English speaking person in the United States dies. Mm -hmm. That um, I, I I went back and I found it out a few years ago. UNESCO mm -hmm. did a poll, did scientific research worldwide. There were no more than eight million gay people in the entire world, mm -hmm. and now. If you're, you know, if you're not gay, you're on the wrong side of political correctness today. I mean, we've got people coming out. Oh, what was it the other day? Somebody said, oh, they said that they told the people they, they were gay coaches to tell you how. He said, what you do, we train your people to how to handle being gay. And when the political climate changed the opposition, you simply said that I learned my lesson. Mm -hmm. See. Oh, yeah. And global warming could actually make next winter warmer. I, I'm watching a thing last night on, uh, I would, actually, here was on the History Channel, and they were talking about how every natural global warming event was caused by nature until now. And humans had nothing to do with it until now. But the same situations that caused global changes in the past are, you know, volcanic activity, Ocean, you know, the currents changing, everything. I mean, you realize that uh, back, was it 20,000 20, years ago, the Sahara Desert was a green, lush uh, of land. And then the uh, ocean current changed and it became a desert. Man didn't have anything to do with that. And they said, man, basically, I heard one of the people said last night, he said, once again, they put it, one volcano shooting stuff into the air produces more more uh, damage to the climate than every automobile in the world being running at the same time. Mm -hmm. so. And Hillary Clinton says the U.S. needs a woman in charge just like Germany has Merkel. And Germany wants to get rid of Merkel because <laughs> Merkel basically busted the country. She basically had to form a coalition with the people that want to get rid of her <laughs> because her own party doesn't support her anymore. Mm -hmm. And Detroit fights blight by selling off vacant homes. Uh, I've got the solution. The President of the United States has now said that it, even with our, all of our assets working to, be, to fix the problem at the border, it will be years before we'll be able to find where all of these children actually belong. And until then, we're going to do everything we can to extra, extradite the people coming over to this country. Just send them back to Mexico and let them deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like... but, no, but my answer is, I'm going to send the people, I'm going to put, put publish this one today. We have all of these vacant homes in Detroit. The president is pumping hundreds of millions of dollars into Detroit. We clean, we have, we bring up, we get the, the Latinos that are coming in the country illegally, send them to Detroit. They clean up the homes, get them all ready for use, and we put all of the people in this country that are free across the border, instead of sending them to states everywhere, send them to Detroit, Michigan, and they repopulate the empty city of Detroit and everyone is happy except the citizens of Detroit. Yep. And Supreme Court rules against straw buyer in gun case. This one is still the one no one understands. That basically the guy told people when he was buying the gun, it was bought to be a present for his son. That it, That is now illegal to buy gift, guns as gifts in the United States. It is? Yeah. Uh, um, can a school hold graduation in a church? Supreme Court declines case. Yeah. The what? The Supreme Court, they are. Uh, because what they didn't want to make a decision on religious grounds, so that gives an indication that the Supreme Court may decline to give an indicate a thing on the uh, religious exemption from Obamacare, which they were uh -huh. for. And Russia leans on companies to rescue Crimea tourism. There is no the tourism is now dead. The Crimea exists strictly on tourism, and as a naval port, they're not allowing the Russian ships to use the naval port, and there's no tourism now. And U.S. Army begins probing a former POW Bergdahl's disappearance. Well, no, he's already, he's now back in the United States, is now a patient. They're, the probing of his, okay, here's how it works in the military. When they have a pro, high profile problem, they uh, basically, re, they, they retire the person at a higher rank, he'll go as a first lieutenant, 
and then give him a medical discharge, and that will bring the end of it. Mm -hmm. In return, you're not supposed to say much. Yeah, that's in yep. return, you shut your mouth, you get taken care of the rest of your life. Yep. And a Monty Bubble isn't for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Well, I love to change it. If you've got a lie, at least make it a convincing lie. 